But JT, I gotta warn you, I'm very hands-on. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> and I want to welcome all of you to the first meeting of possible investors on this project. Some of you know I've had nine pictures under my subspecies. Four in the South Beach Strumpet series alone, each with 30,000 plus DVDs in print. That being said, I usually find it helpful at this stage to include my prospective partners and get your inputs, or notes as we call them. JT, you're Ron. Well, uh, we've been working on a new kind of slasher film. It takes place in the world of, you know, um, the mafia. It's about a wise guy with a big mouth and bigger dreams. Anyway, um, they call him the butcher. And no, they don't. Why the fuck not? Need I remind you of a certain butcher out of AC? Right. Not butcher. Go on, JT. So, right. Um, he's kind of outshining his boss, so the guy has him clipped, but he's still alive when they cut him up. Oh, he's gonna feel that the next day. <laughs> <laughs> right. So at the dump, his body reassembles itself, all except for a hand that got crushed. So he ties a cleaver onto the stump, and he goes out to get revenge on everyone, especially the boss, which is a pretty solid role. Right now, it's called Pork Store Killer, but I'm thinking just Cleaver. I'm confused. You said he's dead. How's he evening up with anybody? He's a ghost? As I understood, a, a zombie of sorts. Great title, by the way. But if they jointed him, he's not going to end up all in the same dump. And how's that a slasher film? What are you talking about? A slasher. Couple of kids naked in the lake. Certified maniac on the loose. Not a ghost. Actually, the maniac is almost always a supernatural force. Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers from Halloween. Get the fuck out. Easy, Sil. Easy. He's making a point. Michael Myers is an escape mental patient. Jason and Freddy, different kind of movie. Well, that's the kind we're doing here. Saw the ring. They made millions. And that's not even including the Godfather angle, which we got here. What if? They disposed him at stops that happened to be along the same route. Then he would all end up in the same dump. But he's a ghost? I don't know. Ghostbusters, another fucking money machine. Cavalry's here. I brought some cannelloni. Again. 